I need data to monitor food security trends and analyze the impact of shocks on vulnerable households. I need data to quickly take stock of food security and livelihoods. I need DIME data to develop programs as well as reach out to resource partners to mobilize urgently needed resources to support vulnerable food insecure Afghan people in Afghanistan. I need data. Um, I need to see how different situations change over time and across countries in order to prioritize our programming and really target our support to where it's needed the most. I need data to influence policy processes at national and regional level. The impact of shocks on agricultural livelihoods is striking. Large-scale hazards, natural and human-induced events, they all inflict incredible stresses on the livelihoods of the world's food producers. Gathering, processing, and analyzing the amount and the kind of data needed to make a real difference to the lives of these families is a huge challenge. Delayed and inaccurate information hinders confident decision-making, which results in weakened livelihoods, or worse. In recognition of this need, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations has established the Data in Emergencies Information System, a transformational data tool created to empower stakeholders from across the entire food crisis field. Since the inception of the system in June 2020, DiEM assessments have taken place in over 30 food crisis countries and have reached more than 150,000 households. Today, data processing and analysis are completed in just three days. In fact, the entire life cycle, from data processing to analysis to validation and finally publication, now takes only 30 days. And now, thanks to standardized surveys in every country, our ability to view and compare the same variables across time and space has been transformed. Diem is a step change for FAO in the volume, frequency, and granularity of household data that it collects in the context of food crisis countries. To begin exploring the Diem system, please visit our website.